Okay, today we're gonna take a look at what's in here. This is the Harns, Harns Silkworm. And I was advised by somebody on the subs, I forget which one it was, to get this, and so I got it. Now we're gonna check it out. And we're gonna do some more stuff to it. And then some more stuff to it. We'll get into this. <laughs> Please, please hold, please hold, please hold, please hold, please, please, please hold. It's my pleasure to present Jimmy Slash. Okay, this is, man, I like that yellow, don't you? This is the Harn Silkworm. Check that out. Oh, hello. Have a look, see there. Let's see. Uh, cover shot, boom. All right. Take a look there. All right. So, what we got here, very excellent budget knife, by the way. If you're looking for something really kind of cool and something you haven't thought about, go grab one of these. Over, I got this one off Amazon, so go check it out. <clears throat> I don't have an Amazon account yet, as far as like making money off y'all making purchases. I might have to do that. All right, so we got one, two, three, about three, 3.4 inches of, what is it now? It's Sandvik. 14C28N. It's supposed to be like a kind of a good mid level steel, easy to sharpen, highly corrosion resistance. Check that out. Got that upswept blade there. Check that out. All right. Hit a scream at the cat there. Sorry about that. Have a look see. Let's see. I'm going to get my glasses on so I can see what's going on with that blade. <clears throat> All right, so we got Giant Silkworm. Is this the Giant Silkworm? Oh, it's the Giant Silkworm. Ooh, I have an excellent Silkworm story. I'm going to tell you later on. And not excellent. It ends sadly. But I'll tell you that later. All right, so this is the Giant Silkworm. Sandvik 14C28. There's horns on that side. Very cool. Super slicey. Let's get a coupon out here. We didn't do a coupon game. All right, I'm going to tell you what. Put in the comment what you think the next coupon is going to be for the next video that has a coupon. Which should be uh, maybe later on today. There we go. Just an amazingly slicey knife right out of the box. Check that out. Now it's rippy. There we go. There we go. All right, and we want 20% off Valvoline? No, All right, let's keep moving then. Okay, so at that, let's check this out. This feels like glass filled nylon here. Kind of has that feel to it. One, two, three, four, seven, one, two, three, four and a half inches there of that glass filled nylon. This is really smooth. Now the thing is, right here, it kind of catches my pinky just a little bit, but it's not uncomfortable. I can just notice it's there. Now right-handed, not as much. Maybe it's that it's that uh, clip getting in the way somehow. So check that out. Now here's something kind of cool that I really didn't notice until I've been playing this for a while. I wasn't paying attention. This choil here is pretty okay to get up there. Now I wouldn't start stabbing into stuff, but if you had to get something where you were slicing down. See, the thing is, it's not sharp that way, if that makes sense. So it's like, got that little edge that some of the choils got, where you go whoop, and then you're nicked. So it's pretty safe right there, and really good for some inside intricate work if you gotta do that. Got that axis lock, which snaps pretty good. It's a little bit tighter than the Benchmade's, but it works well, Sh shuts nicely. Especially this little, you know, axis lock shake there. I don't know if I can open this. Let's see if I can. There we go. I need to snap that bad boy open. All right. Excellent lanyard hole. Open construction in case you were, say, cutting a steak for breakfast. Foreshadowing. All right. Let's check this clip out real quick. So far, I like everything about this. It's got that cool H on the pivot there. Man, I like that. I like that design. It looks like it's left, right compatible for that clip. Got a kind of a semi deep pocket clip there. Yeah, it's pretty deep. Let's see how it fits onto our 
pocket simulator here. Okay, here's the pocket simulator. Check this out. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna have your pocket like so. And you're gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna put it in my pocket. And you're gonna push. <laughs> oh, there you go. So I just had it wrong. All right, so there it goes on. And it shakes down a little bit, but that's only if you're upside down. So it's a little bit loose once you get on there. But getting on is not too bad. So it slides in, and it's going to hold in there unless you're doing upside down aerobics or something. If you got some namaste in you and you got to do some downward lizard, then you might have a problem. But I think otherwise, it's a pretty good pocket clip. Like I said, left, right. And left, right makes this thing, you know, completely ambidextrous. So it's not like a fake ambidextrous for the lefties out there. So there you go. That's a good, good plus for a lot of people for, was it 10% of the population? All right, let's see what else we got here. Of course, got that axis lock, oak construction. Let's see what else. So what I want to do is just, oh, we got to weigh this thing real quick. Just show you how much it was. It's not heavy as far as like the knives, that you know, you know me to carry, but it might be, let's see, I'm going to guess right around 3.9. Ooh, that's not bad. 3.1. That's not heavy at all. I'm becoming wussy in my old age. It's because I have a wound on my finger. Look at that. Man, you know what caused that? 550 cord. Yeah, children, don't play with 550 cord. Run with knives and scissors. Don't play with 550 cord. Okay, so 3.14. Where's my European friends out here? We're looking at 89 grams. Fantastic. So it's not bad. You know, that's pretty light, actually, for a nice EVC like that. So that's a good one. All right, so what I'm going to do, just show some sliciness. Then we're going to do some cardboard, because I just want to show you what this thing can do. We'll retest it, and um, then I'm going to try to kill it. So let's see. Here's my breakfast again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Check that out. I'm going to make me some steak and Brussels sprouts. Gotta do the keto thing. You can do the keto thing. Let's get this side fat off of there. So we can turn that upside down and crisp that up nicely. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness, this is gonna taste good. Alright. There. See how slicey this thing? It's super slicey. Check that out. Oh man, look at that. That is so slicey. This thing is awesome. I love that blade. I love the way that that grind is. It just makes it really, really nice to cut with. Let's cut this thing off as a little mini steak. Check that out. So there you go. Very, very super slicey knife. Awesome. All right, let's get something like this off with. Okay, wipe it off on our sock. There we go. Should be no problem. Walk around with a bloody sock all day. Who has that had the bloody sock? Oh, Kurt Schilling. Kurt Schilling in his bloody sock. All right. I didn't wipe it off on my sock. So you know, come back. All the food people. All right. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this cardboard. I'm gonna do a few cuts with it and tell you my silkworm story. Because <clears throat> you gotta tell a story. And uh, or the. Just about cut myself. I'm trying to be funny. Don't be funny and have an knife open. Well, you can. You gotta practice. All right. Let's break this cardboard down so I can get to it easier. Let's see here. It's got tape on it. And don't worry about this. Just go ahead and dig into this. So, I don't know how many I'm gonna do. How many gonna count and do this? One, two. All right, so I had this thing when I was, I think it was in fourth grade, I was like eight years old, and the teacher thought it'd be a really cool idea to bring the silkworms in for all the kids. I think that's eight or nine, ten. And so what she did, she, everybody got their own silkworm. It's really, really cool. One of the few times that everybody kind of, kind of was equal. You know, all the nerds and all the kids and then all the poor kids, they're all equal because they all got silkworm. Except my silkworm was huge. 
it was a giant silkworm. It really was. It's all a true story. And so I took it home. She let us take it home, and I I took it home. And I got a box, cardboard box. You know, put little tree limbs in there and everything. And then I covered it up so it couldn't escape. And I wrote on the side his name. His name was Hercules. Very, very cool. Very, very giant. So I watched that thing. I don't remember how long it was. But he was my pet. I didn't didn't have a pet. We were living in a like a trailer park back then, so we had to leave the dog at my grandparents' house. I had no pets. So and I was kind of a loner too. I didn't have a whole lot of friends. And my brother was always trying to murder me. So me and Hercules were buddies. <laughs> and so you know, he's and he's sure enough, he's spinning the silk and there's silk all over the branches it's really really cool it's like a giant spider was living in there it was really cool i don't know if y'all ever done silkworm stuff so then i'm, I'm waiting i'm waiting because it's going to supposedly turn into a, a what you call it a, a moth like a silkworm moth and it did and it started doing the cocoon thing and it got into cocoon I'm so excited to go back and tell the teacher about my you know it's going to be a moth and mine was going to be huge and it was just going to be really cool. And then the ants ate Hercules. They just came in and ate him while he was sleeping. The end. But, so, that's my, that's my, my uplifting silkworm story. I told you it had a sad ending to it. And I never had another silkworm after that. So this thing's still cutting. I don't know how many we got here. Like 30, 40, 50. Good cuts into this. It's not really giving me any hand problems at all. Super, super. It may be slowing down a bit here. Let's see there. No, it's still going. Let's pull out another coupon. See how that Sandvik 14C28N is holding up to the beatdown. Because we're fixing to really beat it down. Like we're angry at it here in a second. We're going to hit it like it's those ants that ate my silkworm. You killed Hercules! Alright, what'd you guess this time? Did you guess Tito's Cantina? Look at that. So it's slowed down a little bit. But it's still cutting a little bit. A little bit slicey. There you go. It's, kinda, it's not push cutting as much, but it's still slicey. Even after those cuts. There you go. There you go. Definitely still working. Still workable. All right, let's get some more of this cardboard. Just real quick. I don't think I have any more stories to tell. Not that y'all could handle any more happiness today. <laughs> oh, me. All right, so. There we go. Seems like it's cutting just a little bit less. Maybe a little bit less with the pushing, and I'm having to slice a little bit more with it. Or maybe just this cardboard is acting goofy. There we go. There we go, still going. All right. All right. <clears throat> there we go. That was a good cut there. So, uh, this cardboard's that good. No, I guess it's just getting a little bit dull there. All right, so there. Now, it's still sharp though. Let's check the belly here. You know, it's still, it's still bringing up the belly hair there. I ain't lying. Yeah. I got a stretch there. It's like the Mojave Desert. <laughs> Surrounded by lush forest. The Mojave Desert. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Probably not. All right. <clears throat> now, let's push this all over here so the children can pick it up. Fantastic. Now, I'm going to take, let's see, how long am I going to take? Let's just take a few minutes here and see if we can murder this knife. What do you think? I'm going to, I'm going to whack it, smack it, and just see what we can do to this thing. I want to see how that axis holds up. I, I just think, you know, for this, the amount of money, there, there's some really cool knives out there. I want to show you, show you how that works. So... Let's get in there, get that point in there. 
Who needs a new 2 by 4s Now that's a pointy point. See that? It's not bending up or anything like that. It's still there. Check that out. I mean, you're not going to be doing this to a lot of wood or anything, but I just want to show you that Sandvik 14C28N will hold up. Nothing's breaking. Nothing's bending there. So that's working pretty well. Now, again, you're not going to be chopping with this knife a lot or at all, hopefully. But I just want to show you what the steel will hold up to and how sturdy this knife is for what you're paying for. We already saw that it's going to go through stuff. We already saw how slicey it is in the beginning. I want to see if this lock kind of holds up a little bit. So we're going to take some chips out of this. So I ain't joking around. You can see it's chipping up this 2x4 nicely. Get some good flax in. All right. All right, so it's loosened up a tad bit sideways, but nothing forward and back, which is the one you got to worry about. Sideways, you can deal with with a little bit. Man, I think it just made that just a little bit better, though. Maybe a little bit of that sideways plays what you needed there. I mean, it's just a tiny bit, but now it's just dropping shut. That's awesome. All right. So, I'm not good with the whacker. Left-handed. Isn't that weird? I'm left-handed, but I thwack right-handed. Yeah, see? You can tell the difference. Alright, let's see if there's any chips. There's no chips. There's nothing in there. So, I mean, really, no chips, no rolls from where we stabbed it and kind of pried it a little bit. We got, you know, 20, 1, 2, 20, 30 stabs in there. Let's make sure we're not lying here. Those are good stabs. All right. So, everything's holding up. Like I said, a little side by side, but man, it makes it much better on the closing. So, all right. So we tried to murder this thing a little bit. Let's see how slicey it is one more time. And just kind of see how useful it would still be, even after a bunch of work. All right, let's check this out. Let's see it here. So there, still slicing. I'm telling you guys, you're missing out on cool knives because you're wrapped around the axle about super steels, and then you're gonna miss out on something like that. That's as good say something ugly but that's gonna hit that's gonna hold up as good as any bench made out there oh blasphemy it is blasphemy but what is this 35 bucks 38 bucks for this knife now check that out you'll take this out abuse it use it you know but check this out it's still still going through the cardboard I haven't touched this up, haven't done anything to it. It's just a man, I might get me another one of these. That's a great, great knife. Y'all are gonna miss out on stuff. Don't miss, I'm not, I'm not gonna say you all are gonna, I'm just gonna tell you, don't miss out on something because you think you know something about steel and you think you're gonna miss out because somebody told you this doesn't cut right or it only has this many cuts. Go test it for yourself. Check that out. Great, that's a great knife. This is a great knife, period. 38 bucks. Look what it did to the 2x4, which you shouldn't put your knife through, anyways. No chips, no rolls. It's still slicing. Still grabbing. Let's see, still, still, still grabbing some belly hairs. It's not as sharp, obviously, but it's still got some belly hair coming up. I'm gonna have to wait and regrow some of that before. We're gonna need new growth. <laughs> Plant some new trees. So there. Awesome. 
awesome knife. I'm serious. I'm just I'm recommending this knife wholeheartedly to you guys. Fantastic knife. Let me know what you think down there. Do you have one of these? I know some of you, one of you does because you recommended it. Awesome knife. Thank you for recommending this. Seriously, I'm super happy I got this. Payday comes. I might order a couple more for the family, birthday presents, whatever. This is a great knife that you don't have to feel bad about giving away, you know, for a present. This is an awesome knife. I'm super excited about this knife. I really am. I wasn't expecting to take the beating without getting some chips or some rolls. It did not. You saw we did some damage there. Did a little damage on the tip, even as pointy as that tip is. Let me know what you think down there. Are you excited about this knife? Are you going to get one? Tell me if you're going to get one because it makes me feel good when I uh, mind melt you to getting stuff. All right? <laughs> I think that's it. I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to be entered in the Knife a Week giveaway.